Hi everyone, today I am going to be talking about a topic that I haven't spoken about before and I want to get more into the sort of deeper videos in, on my channel because I haven't really done anything that's kind of personal. I have on in a sense but a lot of things I don't talk about. One, because I'm quite a private person and two, because I don't think people will watch them. So I think probably the most personal video I've done is probably an update video when I had a lot of time off YouTube. So I think we're just gonna jump right into it and see how it goes. So today I'm gonna to be talking about toxic relationships and this is something that I've been struggling with for a really, really long time since I was aware of it. And I think in a sense, I think people look at toxic relationships and think, oh, it's gonna be your boyfriend or your girlfriend or someone you're in a relationship with. And that is true, that is what happens. I'm going to try and stop swinging on this chair. When I think about toxic relationships, I think friendships mainly because you go through a lot more friendships than you do relationships. I mean, I do personally. I don't know if anybody else does, but I do personally. Yeah, so today I'm going to talk about toxic relationships and how they affect you and that you're not alone, basically, because I've seen a lot of people do videos on this. Not this exact topic, but kind of things around it. And for me, I find them extremely comforting because I can look at them and think yes girl we're going through the same thing. <laughs> Basically what I want to get through this video is that it's not going to be like this forever and if you are in a toxic relationship whether it be with a partner or whether it be a friendship it's not going to last forever and you do have control even though you probably don't think you do especially if it's a long-term friendship or a long-term relationship and I just want to give you the low down. I'm not going to give you really intense detail because I'm not I don't really like sharing too much of my life yet anyway. Battery died, back again. I've been through quite a lot of toxic friendships and not really relationships, mainly friendships. We're going to be talking about friendships here so I know roughly about relationships but not a lot of them so <laughs> I've been single for like 95% of my life. Uh, more like 99% actually so yeah. When you're in a toxic relationship it normally ends up you put in all the work, you feeling very 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 unhappy and feeling like something is missing so that's not for every single relationship because every relationship is different but for my personal experience it happens to be when you're the one putting in most of the effort and people just don't put in the effort for you at all and for me people a lot of people won't know this but about with me when it comes to friendships I give my all into a friendship so if you're friends with me then then that's pretty good <laughs> because I'm, I'm the one who really puts in a lot of effort with friendships and if somebody else puts in a lot of effort then they're probably going to be my friend and if they don't then I'm getting to the point where I'm cutting people out of my life if not in the sense that they have to put so much effort in that it like hurts them but in the sense that there has to be it takes two to tango you know what I'm saying if you have a relationship or a friendship in your life where you are really struggling and you really feel like there's something that's wrong and you're not happy in it then you do have the authority to get out of there. You have control over your friendships and your relationships. You might not think that you do, but you do. And a lot of people may say this, that it doesn't last forever, and it doesn't. And it may be really, really crap. It may be really rubbish when you leave that friendship or relationship, but it does get better. So it's not gonna be like that all the time. And trust me, I've been through a hell of a lot of friendships to know that it does get better. And for someone who really puts their all into a friendship and genuinely wants to be sisters with their, with my friends and basically I wanna just connect with anybody I can. And if they're willing to give that back, then that is just amazing. And I feel like that's what life should be about, you know? And I think people forget that. People think I'm in a friendship. I'm just gonna take everything that they've got until I wring them out dry and I think a lot of people are like that, a lot of people are selfish so for me I try not to think that I'm like that and if I am and you're you're not watching this video thinking Vicky you're the most selfish person I know then I'm very sorry but <laughs> I think I am. I wrote some stuff down because I know I'm going to go on a tangent because every time I do a talking video I do go on a tangent. We're going to just jump right into these ones. It can be quite subtle, people can be quite manipulating and that is something that a lot of people don't realise until it comes to it. So it happens with everybody and I think it's just what I'm trying to say is that you're not alone and I am here for you if you want to chat about it because I have been through quite a lot of stuff and I know quite a lot of things and that sounds really vain but it's not. I know quite a lot of things about this sort of topic. As I said before you shouldn't feel bad about getting out of a toxic relationship or a friendship because if it's not suiting you and you are not happy then you can get out of there and you may be alone, you may not have any friends, you may be the most loneliest person but at least you can feel happy on your own, at least you can do whatever you want by yourself 
and you haven't got friends saying you can't do that you can't do that i don't like it when you do that a lot of the time especially when you're a teenager and you're growing up there are a lot of people who will ring you out to dry especially in school because they're all collecting in their own little group and they're kind of like come over here we're the best and then you go over there and you're not you don't feel the same as them people and that was exactly the same for me i had trouble fitting in with a certain group because i don't go along with the crowd a lot of the time work I like to think I don't and it is quite hard and I know a lot of people who are like this who are my age and struggle with trying to get a group who they're genuinely happy with and I think at the end of school people do get nasty at school people bully people and if you've been bullied I'm really sorry that is really really awful and I know how that feels not for a long amount of time but I know how that feels and it is awful and I think people I think a lot of people who are genuinely in school now watch YouTube and if you're watching this and you're in school then I'm really glad you're watching this because I know that it is really hard sometimes but it's also really easy sometimes so I think it's just generally finding the people who you feel comfortable with and you're happy with being around you have one life or in or if you believe in reincarnation then you have lots of lives but in this life you have this life and you want to live it to your best ability and you want to be bloody happy and if that means chucking out all those bitches in your friendship group or walking on your own to school or walking on your own to a lesson then do it mate because if you're going to be happy eventually then it's so worth it and let them talk about you let them giggle at you let them say oh she's loner so what yeah so that's kind of what i wanted to get at. i don't know how long this video is going to be but i just wanted to get into that topic i kind of wanted to make it a little bit fun but if it is a bit sad then i'm very sorry but this topic is quite close to my heart i do want the best for people especially when you do go on youtube to look for something that's going to help you in your life even like the most simplest thing like how to do a ponytail how to do your hairstyle you're looking on there to help yourself so if this is going to help at least one person who watches this video then that's going to be really good and I hope that I covered everything I think just what I was trying to get at is it's okay to be alone it's okay to not feel happy for a little while but as long as you're helping yourself and that's good and if you feel like it's not going anywhere and you're going to be stuck there for the rest of your life you're definitely not um when I was going through a tough time you just kind of keep saying this shall pass this shall pass like things keep coming at you like really badly and just like this I'll pass this I'll pass until your head starts to explode because of all the like inspirational quotes but do you know what got me through so it'll get you through too so anyways I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was helpful to some certain extent and I really do want to help you guys if you are going through a really tough time I've seen quite a few YouTubers do this before and I want to be more honest in my videos so if this helps you then I'm really happy and I'm really sorry about me swinging on this chair I've just noticed me keep doing that in the corner of my eye and I keep looking at the viewfinder I really shouldn't do that but yeah thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video and feel free to subscribe if you want to the red button is down there below and if you want to get notified when my videos come out to make sure you get those videos and you're watching them on time then just click the bell that's next to the subscribe button and you will get notified so thank you for watching guys and I will see you all in my next video bye